Driving a Porsche around the desert in Saudi Arabia definitely puts a smile on your face. Meet the first winner of Dakar Classic, Marc Duton. When we came last year, we were very well prepared and very familiar with the regulations. So we had a pretty smooth rally from start to finish, no issues or technical problems. We finished first in our category and first in Dakar Classic. I don't think that I would have come back with the same car because it wouldn't have been enough of a challenge. I was more interested in wiping the slate clean and starting again with a new challenge. Mark is back in this gorgeous Porsche 911 as he looks to defend his title. It took a while to set things up because Jeremy wanted to prep a 911 and it's turned out to be ideal. We'll see if it's perfect at the end of the rally, but for the moment it's certainly ideal. We did relatively little testing, only two or three days in France. Even if we developed it to feel like a buggy in terms of driving, we still had some doubts. But it's actually very effective over the sand, and that is obviously very good news. The field is much more competitive this year in terms of the quality of the vehicles and the size of the teams. Some really big teams have turned up. But a crucial point in a regularity rally is that you have to have a vehicle with certain basic capacities. If you have those capacities, then it's the two people in the car, or three people if it's a truck, who are going to determine the result in a regularity rally. It's not about the vehicle, it's not about speed. Honestly, we're not here with any specific goals in mind, like a podium. We're just here to have fun, like last year. We want to enjoy the atmosphere of the Dakar and see big stars who are usually only on TV. It's great to be in an environment that we like and to be on the sand because we love it. After stage three, Mark and Jeremy sit seventh overall.